It is with much sadness that we announce the passing of Caesar Francis Hazel on Thursday, 1st March 2018, at his residence. He was the warehouse manager at West Indies Shipping and Trading Company Limited. He was 63 years old. Left to mourn his wife, Marva Hazel, his children, Kadima Hazel, Kia Hazel, all in St. Lucia, his mother, Anne-Marie Geraldine Sinclair in St. Lucia, his sisters, Kathleen Hazel Alcedon family in the United States, Andrea Sinclair Dusser, Jacqueline Hazel Williams, Don Hazel Gill and their families in St. Lucia, and Marguerite Hazel Mohammed and family in Canada, his brothers, Andre Hazel and family in the United States, Stanley Sinclair, Brian Sinclair, John Eddie Marcellus, and Hanif Hazel and their families in St. Lucia, Mark Ford and family in St. Lucia, his aunts, Sheila and Jeanne Hazel in St. Lucia, Teresa Abraham and Cynthia Sinclair and their families in St. Lucia, his uncles, Ronald Hazel and family in the United Kingdom, Gregory Hazel and family in St. Lucia, other family members and friends, Darlene Hazel, Sam and family in the United States, Sabi Lesporus Hazel and the Lesporus family, Rose Hazel, the Sinclair family, Agnes Squires and the Squires family, the Simon family, Lucy and Nigel Bailey, the Elva family, Diane Joseph and family, Lilin and Dennis St. Louis and family, the Clark family, the Emmanuel family, Timothy Sumer and family, Augustine Lamontine and family, Arthur Peters and family, Marjorie Kerr, the de Beauville family, Diane Henry and family, all in St. Lucia, Olney, Corney and family of Barbados. Also left to mourn are many nieces, nephews and godchildren both here and abroad. His neighbours in Corinth, the management and staff of West Indies Shipping and Trading Company Limited. Special mention, Dr. Alfonso Centros, Dr. Christy Daniel, the nurses at the Tapia Hospital, Nurse Lena Augustine and family, Nurse Rufina Francois and family. The celebration of the life of the late Caesar Francis Hazel will take place on Monday, 12 March 2018 at 2 p.m. at the Holy Trinity Anglican Church Castries, his body will be interred at the Shock Cemetery. His body now lies at Ram Bali's funeral parlour, Calvary Road. May he rest peacefully. The family would like to spend some private time together in reflection and will do so after the funeral service. <laughs>